UFC London happened last night. I was quite excited because it was on at a appropriate time for me to stay up and watch it. And it was shite. Absolute shite. And it's not surprising because the UFC has been like that in the last few weeks. We're barely getting any decent fights whatsoever. To be honest with you, the reason for me that this was an absolute shit show is because of Paddy Pimblett and Monty McCann. I can't stand both of them. Like They're infuriating to watch. Molly McCann came out like she was Conor McGregor, except for she's not. It's just in her head. After she won, she did a good performance. I'll give her that. You know, she, she finished her opponent very quickly. But she's insufferable. Absolutely insufferable. I don't know how the UFC are promoting people like this. And again, it is a form of gaslighting from the UFC. Because if we see what they've done in the last week to the likes of Nate Diaz, someone who has been an extremely valuable asset to the UFC over the course of about 15 years, and then they throw him to the wolves, as everyone says, even though I think that there's a chance there that he beats him and a good chance that he beats him. And we see so many content creators talking about that treatment. People are calling out Dana left, right and center for the treatment of Nate Diaz. And then we look at Paddy Pimlet and gets the easiest fights. And then we get gaslit into believing that he's a world superstar. Him and Molly McCann. I, I'd like to see Molly McCann and Paddy Pimlet fight on a big card in Florida or New York and see what the reception is. I'm sure we get a lot of automatons who buy into everything that the media say and they'll be out there chanting their names and shit like that but I mean Molly McCann is making statements after the fight that she is the biggest female in combat sports and she's never seen anything like this. Katie Taylor is an Irish boxer. Massive following all over the world. All over the world. I don't know. I, I don't like it. I think it's obnoxious listening to both of them stuffing their faces with fast food and drinking beers and just acting like complete and utter retards. And then afterwards, she leads the crowd in the chant of fuck the Tories. For anyone watching this who don't know who the Tories are, they're the Conservative Party in the UK. Labour Party are the Liberals. Tory party or the conservatives slash republicans whatever way you want to look at it to be honest with you politics shouldn't be injected into ufc but that's been happening a lot in the last two years we see it with flags being banned in case someone with a russian flag offends somebody i don't know man it's headed in this direction I mean, the crowds that show out in the UK are definitely passionate, but they bring that kind of football hooliganism to it because we see these absolute scumbags who are battered up on booze, sticking up the middle finger into UFC fighters' faces. What the fuck is that about? I mean, you had Molly McCann's opponent, Hannah Goldie, walking out to the octagon, making her way out. You had these scumbag pieces of shit that were steamed up on their beer, calling her over, giving her the middle finger, sticking it up into her face. That was the type of fan that you got in London last night. That's the type of fan that you get when you come to the UK. So to interpret their incoherent chants about fuck the Tories or calling out Paddy the Batty doesn't mean you're a world superstar. It means you're deluded. Again, this is a very radical form of promotion, I guess. We see it across the board, music, television, movies. You know, leading an arena in a chant of fuck the Tories isolates half the population. To be honest with you, going on Molly McCann and Paddy Pimlet, the way they struggle to form sentences, I don't think that they understand the nuance between Labour, Tory, Conservative, Republican. So just keep your bullshit politics out of the UFC. Yeah, I found it absolutely disgusting. And, you know, I wanted to come on here and talk about the fights. The fights were shit. The fights were shit. Paul Craig, who I'm a massive fan of, absolutely love him. Don't know what happened in that fight. Um, instead of completing a takedown he kept falling onto his arse instead of standing up and using his hands he kept falling onto the ground trying to pull guard it was a really bizarre fight the money mccann fight as i said fair play she knocked hannah goldie out it was a really good knockout but insufferable to watch i had to switch off the tv right when she knocked her out it's kind of got that vibe of a wwe heel where you want to see these people lose so bad you want to see an end to the fake manufactured gaslit hype train then we get to Paddy. He rolls out into the arena like someone on PCP. He had a good performance, I have to say. First round, Levitt put it on him. Uh, there was a lot of like staunch wrestling happening. Paddy was very well able to get out of it and defend it. 
And in the second round, he finished him with um, beautiful submission and fair play for that. Listen, no one's kind of contradicting or attacking the fighting style. It's just the personalities are disgusting and despotic and I have no interest in watching it. And I really have an issue with the UFC pushing this sort of behavior. I mean, there's fighters out there that are much more deserving of the UFC's promoting and backing and they get nothing. They get fuck all. So I don't know where we're going with the UFC and that's been honest with you. If I was to gauge it just on recent events, I would say it's headed towards an extremely radical left-leaning progressive mental illness. That's about as much as I can say. We're banning flags. We're shouting, fuck the conservatives. They're promoting people who do not live a good lifestyle in terms of diet and fitness. And this sort of uneducation in the sport is disgusting. If we go to the main event and we see Tom Aspinall, very unfortunate. I actually wanted to see that fight. I think it was going to be a great fight. And I would love if the UFC promoted Tom Aspinall as much as they promote Paddy the Batty. That's what I'd love to see. This guy seems to be legit when it gets to like combat. When he's in there, he is legit. Very unfortunate injury last night. But outside of that, I mean, he's a solid guy. He's good on the mic, but he's not pushing a gimmick and... And it's a lot more organic. I just wish these type of fighters were promoted for their skills and their genuine ability to be contenders and not eating pizza, drinking beer, and shouting at the government. Absolutely pathetic card last night. It is what it is. Let me know. Let me know what you think because um, I've seen a lot of people pushing back on the narrative of the UFC and I'd just love to know what you think. Cheers.